with all about how I had to leave YouTube and UBI. Actually, most of it was about UBI. A very small percentage was about how I needed to leave YouTube and why. Just in a nutshell, my own mental health. But, uh, you know, because the closer it gets to the election, it's not going to get any better. I saw the uh, RBG funeral, you know, videos up. I just, you know, clicked on a couple of them. I don't really know anything about her. Uh, unfortunately, I feel like I should, but how how American of me to not know about, you know, or I guess a lot of the countries are probably about that. I mean, I, I've heard, you know, people in fucking Denmark say, I know more about your politics and your system than I do my own um, at this point because we're such a fucking spectacle on the world stage. It's unfortunate. I feel like... The right doesn't care about our global image, and then the left doesn't care about, like, local, like, you know, even the people rioting and looting, like, you know, even if they're not, like, like, there is some peaceful shit, that's the tricky part, it's so hard to win, you acknowledge that there's a lot of peaceful shit that you haven't seen, like, oh my god, you can tone the rioting and looting, and, like, you fucking, you come out against it, and you're like, no, you completely denounce the leading and rioting, then, oh, you're fucking, you're with them, you're with, you know, so, like, you fucking, yeah, it's almost impossible to win, but, uh, man, Joe Rogan, he, he set a fire of its, of his own, that it, it, it takes a life of its own, it really does, the whole thing about how, like, for, you know, that's where I am now, Portland, I'm actually one of the few people born in this city, so, like, don't fucking hold it against me. I don't like the fucking, it's, if you're an Oregonian, you know, you've seen the increase in population, so it's, like, what's happening already in your town, but, like, times a fucking hundred. So, like, don't blame that shit on the locals. There was a time this had, like, a, it was a city with a small town feel where things are at a much slower pace. Seattle was the one that was more like the New York of the East Coast, but no, Portland was chill. And then I think the show Portlandia served as like a fucking decade-long move to our utopia fucking commercial. But, uh, yeah, this whole idea that random people in Portland are fucking setting fires and want this shit, like, no, it was horrible. I still fucking taste ash. Fucking, my lungs still feel fucked up. I got an air purifier behind me. The air's good again, though, so, you know. Joe did apologize, and I, I appreciate and respect that he did apologize, but, you know, I'm sorry. It's too little too late. That's what I mean. It's taken a life of its own, and that's why fire is the perfect metaphor. He was the spark that ignited something that was already there, but was definitely more fringe, and he fucking made it mainstream. So, sorry, Joe. You fucked up big time, and part of me feels like you were forced to apologize, and if I feel that way, and I already think it's bullshit, or know it's bullshit, it's been fucking debunked by every faucet of law enforcement, I guess I know about the Jeffrey Accord guy, that I, I'm not sold, these are opportunists who latch on, they don't know anything about politics, they don't know anything about the system, they're fucking mentally ill opportunists, they latch on, and they give things a bad name, but here's the catch. The people with the protests and things like that, they haven't condoned it loudly enough. Like, the mayor, everybody needs to make it real clear to fucking, you know, even to people like Fox News and the riot that, hey, we are not down with this shit. We do not condone property damage of, like, fucking immig immigrant, uh, literally owned businesses who, who agree with them. That's the thing. These people looting and rioting, like, you're punishing the people who fucking agree with you. Like, how stupid is that? I'm sorry it makes me angry, but that's the thing, it makes a lot of other people angry too, I know it does, um, which is why Joe, you did no favors by fucking, well, I mean, I guess you say you know that, but I hope that you really do know that, and, uh, yeah, that's just, you know, this is part of why I just, I, I gotta leave you two, the closer it gets to the election, the crazier it's gonna get, it's not gonna get any better, the comment sections, man, they're getting ugly, <laughs> but again, you know, I got a pretty small audience, and just so you know, if you have subscribed and followed, you know, you always should have said hi, first off, because I'm not like, I'm just some random asshole, yeah, I'm, I'm willing to put my face and my real name out there, and that's something most people online will not do, aside from like on Facebook or something maybe, but definitely not on YouTube, um, as far as the comments and things like that, um, Cowards, man. A lot of cowards out there.
They say shit behind a fucking fake name and a fake fucking profile picture that they would never fucking say to your face. Anything that I'm saying now, I will tell you in person. You know, all of it. If you hear that music in the background, it's fucking Batman, Telltale Batman. Anyway, Joe, I, I hope you like really, you know, that you are vocal about, hey, I fucked up more than just like a quick little few second videos. Like you on your show, on your podcast, maybe even say it a couple times that like, hey, I really fucked up by this. Because there were people who, you know, like I wanted to return to the coast where I grew up. Like, apparently there are people on the fucking street corners with guns who are like, you know, they take one look at me, they hear fucking Portland, and, you know, fucking, I felt like I was going to get fucking killed over this shit, you know? I think the one guy did die who was, like, making fires in Washington that I still maintain is an isolated incident, you know, beyond, like, I think some motel or something got burnt down, but, like, that kind of shit happens, you know, horrific times. Anyway, um, wake up, sheeple. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's the thing, Joe. People are going to believe it. They're going to say, because if I think you were forced to apologize, like the fucking conspiracy theorists are going to be all over that. So, all right, man, I'm done. This is definitely long enough. So, okay, Joe, doubt you'll ever see this, but eh, never know. Everyone else, exercise critical thinking. I beg you. Google it, critical thinking. Maybe I'll even put the definition in the description. But, fuck, man. Alright. Good luck to us all, right?